Hi, my name is Josh and this is my Hot Wheels display project. This is the first time I've done a project like this, so there was definitely a learning curve. I'm almost certain there's better ways to do some of this stuff, but this is how I did it.
You're going to try using contact paper for stenciling material. See how that works.
If you're thinking about doing a project like this, be prepared for all the sanding. You're going to be sanding stuff until you want to puke. I had the garage doors open and the fan blowing as I was sanding, so dust wasn't really an issue, but if you don't have that kind of setup or situation, you're definitely going to want to wear a mask. Now, I had a sheet of that 1 8 inch panel boarding sitting in the garage forever, and that's why I chose to use that. If I had to do it again, I would have used quarter inch MDF. Now, I ended up upgrading the materials to the quarter inch MDF for the letters, just because it was a little thicker, a little easier to work with, more stable. But if I had to do it again, I'd do the whole project in quarter inch MDF. The glaze coat is a pretty crucial step in this project because it's what really makes it pop and come to life. It makes it look really cool. But first and foremost, protect yourself. Wear a respirator. All over the box and packaging, this stuff says how toxic it is, and man, does it stink. So protect yourself. Anybody that's helping you needs to protect themselves. Wear respirators when you're dealing with this stuff. Secondly, follow the instructions to the letter. I did everything right according to instructions, mixing times, mixing speeds, switching containers when I was supposed to, even though I didn't understand why or what the point was, I still did it. However, the one thing I couldn't control was temperature. You saw that I did this in the garage. I did three coats. The second coat was in the evening and it got down to like 50 degrees. And according to instructions, this stuff should be somewhere between 70 and 90 degrees consistently while it sets. And because of that, it didn't self level. When I came out to check on it the next morning, hoping it was going to be smooth like glass. Uh, no, it was, it was lumpy. It was wavy and I was pretty bummed out. I was really hoping the third coat would level it out because I did that during the day when it was warmer and it did help, but it's still not flat like glass. The other thing is use a dust cover. Um, I did on the second stage and I tried reusing the plastic for the thir third stage and it, it didn't really work out. You should have fresh, clean plastic ready for each dust coat. Just make it easier. It's really not that much more of an expense for the project and you'll get way better results. Um, the stuff is sandable and polishable according to the instructions, but for a garage project, it still came out pretty cool. I'm satisfied. If I were to do it again for the house, something in the house, then I would take these extra steps and do everything I could to make sure that everything was followed to the letter. But all in all, I'm happy the way it turned out, especially for it being the first time I tried something like this. But other than that, guys, I'm glad you stopped by. I really appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out some of my other videos. Leave comments. Tell all your friends. See you on the next one. What are you doing? You're still here. Hmm. Well, since you made it through this long video and you're still here, it tells me one of two things. One, either you're a die-hard Hot Wheels fan and you love the video, which I hope, or you're just observant and notice that even though the video appeared to be over, there's still a few minutes left and you were wondering what was going on. Well, here's the deal. This right here, the Honda set. All eight cars, they're yours. Shipping on me, no charge. For sticking it out this long, congratulations. All you gotta do is one little thing. So Luke likes life lessons. And this life lesson is balance. Life is all about balance. Luke loves Hot Wheels. So to bring balance back to the galaxy, we need to do something he hates. Carrots. He hates carrots, I don't know why. He hates carrots. So, the first person to make it this far and see this part and write carrots in the comments, I'll reach out to, get your address, and I'll mail you your set of Honda die-cast Hot Wheel cars. Thanks again for stopping by and watching, guys. Hope you have a great week. See you on the next one.